We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Riding into the box, Gio Urshela, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And there's a base hit on the line. That accepted. The third baseman, Miguel and Duhar to the plate now Miguel Andujar heading out towards shallow right and that'll get down for a base hit and they've really got something going here runners at second and third to start the inning that is third the second baseman DJ LeMahieu at the plate DJ LeMahieu no offer on that one two balls and a strike Speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Hit out of play and it's a full count now. Urshela at third and Duhar stands at second, no outs. To short. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one nothing ball game. Striding forward now the Yankee cleanup hitter Aaron Judge and the Yanks trying to make this first inning even sweeter here. The one one home is laid off for ball two. This one's down to third. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. In now is the Yankees' D.H. Torres, and he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Hard on the ground towards short. Bogarts has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Jose Peraza. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judges under it. One out. Next up for the Red Sox, Alex Verdugo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One out, nobody on. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. Here's J.D. Martinez, the head-to-head -head with James Paxton. He hits at a 364 clip. Two of those hits were for home runs. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Takes this the other way to right. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. No. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me.
shoots this one over to first and a reach to his backhand but he can't come up with it and the leadoff man's aboard oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one the first baseman. standing in now Luke Voigt slider misses and he's in danger of losing him here three and one Gary Sanchez the number eight hitter here waits on deck fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike now the three and two pitch swing and there it goes he got all of this one and it's gone into the monster seeds Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. At the plate now, Gary Sanchez. The bouncer to the left side, and that finds its way through for a base hit. The center fielder, number 11, Brett. In now, Brett Gardner. And it's one and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Hammers it to deep right field. Verdugo backing up on it. He can't make the play as it hops over the wall, and that's a break for the defense as it's going to keep the runner from first from scoring. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. Here's Miguel Andujar now. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Andujar. The one two hit weakly back to the mound throw in time at first for out number two. So a man at third here with two gone and that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. Pitch is piling up 44 and he's not clear of the second yet. Grounded to first Moreland is there and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw on to first in time, one away. Riding in for Boston, Kevin Pillar. He was a perfect four for four in last night's game. Count still full, three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Andahar brings it in. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Gardner is there. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike lofted in the air out toward right center judge is on the move he gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning here's big Aaron judge he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. 
Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Now back. Digging in now for the Yankees, Torres. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A 1-1 home. Hit well on the ground to first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Now back. Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Now the one and one pitch. A hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. That strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. Just missed with the 2-2 count, and it runs full now. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 pitch home. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. Oh, and he can't come up with it. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And to score, the runner from third. And they'll hold that runner at third, so everyone moves up, and they remain loaded here with still only one gone. Ryan Weber is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Number 55. Into the box, Brett Gardner. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. Here comes the payoff pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Verdugo waits on it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He's one for two in the ball game. Two down, runners at first and second. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Michael Chavis. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. In there, and it's even now, two and two. And the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So the leadoff man retired, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. The 1 1. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. And here's Jose Peraza. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. A 
now. Ball and two strikes now. Two strikes. Red Sox still looking for their first hit here. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Next for New York, Miguel Andujar. One for two in the ball game thus far. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Second baseman. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Into the box now, Aaron Judge, and it's fouled away. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Next will be the designated hitter, Torres. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield he's going to wave them good spot for the change there and that'll knock things up at two and two three balls and two strikes to the Yankees D.H. don't go too far the dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next fouled off six runs ten hits and no errors for the Yankees so far line that's a base hit in the left field and the route is officially underway it is seven to nothing now that standing in now Giancarlo Stanton and a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. The 2-2 two -two one more time. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. This is line to left. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. At the plate now, Luke Voigt. Line drive, base hit to right. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here as there's no advance. Gary Sanchez. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. On uh, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Gone! It's a grand slam! Ryan Brazier gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. In now, Brett Gardner. Very high, two and one. Lifted in the air to right field. Chasing after it is Verdugo. He takes the turn and heads for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. To the plate now, Gio Urshela. And he fouls this one off.
Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. At the plate, DJ LeMayhew. Fastball is taken for his strike, and he runs it full three and two. In the air, down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Now batting. So digging in now, Aaron Judge. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. One run scores. And the second run will score as well. That's for the Yankees. Standing in now, Torres. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit down the third baseline. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now batting. The left fielder. J.D. Martinez. Into the box now. J.D. Martinez. Two and one. A high fastball is in there. All even at two and two. Here it is. On a line to shortstop. Throw in behind the runner. Not in time. Now at the plate, Xander Bogart. The batter, number two. One out and a runner on second base. Out of play. Here's another one, two. To two balls and two strikes now. I got to count two and two. Now that's popped up. Void shading to his right. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. The Runner in scoring base. position with Sugar. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two is a breaking ball that misses off the plate. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Now to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. And here's the three-two from him. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Fastball three. called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. At the plate, no point. He reached on a single three. last time and later wound up scoring. Four. Now the payoff pitch home is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Trying to pick things now up back. where he left yep. off. Gary Sanchez. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. 
Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for four. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. The center fielder, number 11. At the plate now, Brett Gardner. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. All even now, two and two. From the stretch. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Now batting, shortstop, Gio Urshela. In now, Gio Urshela. 2-2 two -two pitches fouled away. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the second run will score as well. Heath Hembry gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. So now to the plate, Miguel Andujar. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now at the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. It was a walk in his last trip. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. This is line to left. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Into the box, Aaron Judge. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Grounded back up the middle. Bogarts has it, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And digging in is the outfielder, Kevin Pillar. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out. One away. Now batting, catcher. Digging in to try it again. Christian Vasquez. Fly out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. The 1 2 is a fastball that misses. Down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. Michael Chavis waits on deck. And nope. that's outside. He lost him ball four. Striding forward down now down. is the, the DH, Michael Chavis. Michael. He'll look to bounce back after striking yeah, out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Misses. Ball two. And a fastball. Swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now that is so coming to the plate, Mitch Moreland, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. 
With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Paxton comes set. 1 2 on its way. Fouled away. A bouncer up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Standing in now, Jose Peraza. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Left center, base hit. Vasquez rounds third and is digging for the plate. He will score. And they are now on the board, though still well behind. The right fielder, number 99. Allen. Into the box now, Alex Verdugo. Ground ball left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And now pitch on the way. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Back goes Martinez. Gone! Over the monster for a home run. Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton. Up high, two and one now. Hit hard back up the middle. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now back. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Luke Voigt. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Vasquez moving to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. Two away now in the Yankees' sixth, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Now the one and one pitch. Two out, nobody on. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. Now the three and two pitch. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. The batter, number two. Digging in, Xander Bogarts. Over oh, two for him to this point. One and two to the Boston shortstop. And it's fouled away. The one two Ball. keep in mind people the longer the at bat the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning ball three three and two now Rafael Devers will be next hard on the ground towards short that's through and he's got his first base hit he's one for three. Ben Heller comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out.
At the plate, Rafael Devers. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Striding in once again, Kevin Pillar. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that misses up and in three and one. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Ready for another shot now, Christian Vasquez. Lays off two and two now. All right, no more hope, and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. In there, a base hit. One run is scored. The throw to the plate. Throw won't get him. Now back, the designated hitter, Michael Chavis. At the plate now, Michael Chavis. Line to the right side. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Now back, the first baseman, Mitch. So now to the plate, oh, Mitch wow. Moreland. Oh, that's to two balls and two strikes now. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Four runs, six hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. So striding forward now, Alex Verdugo. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the 2 1 pitch. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. At the plate, J.D. Martinez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Hit high and deep to right center. Gardner's after it. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Now the third man has scored. Zach Britton, a southpaw standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Standing in now, Xander Bogarts. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. The 2 2 pitch. Smoke toward third. And it's in time at first. And hallelujah, the side is retired. Stepping in, Brett Gardner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the yeah, bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. And a good take oh, there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Urshela. Here's the 2-1. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. 2-2. Two and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. 3-2. and two. 
I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Darwin's and Hernandez oh, comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. In now, Miguel Andujar fouled off. Again, a one-two. And that misses two and two. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Count full, three balls and two strikes. The three-two pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Second base. Stepping into the box, DJ LeMayhew. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. The right field, number 99, Aaron Judge. Stepping in now, Aaron Judge. And he misses two and one. Hernandez is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. 3 2 with the bases loaded. High chopper to third. Once again, a 3-2. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to play it is Moreland, and there's one away. One gone here in the Yankee seventh, and that will bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B., but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. So he sets him down swinging. Torres is the second out in the seventh inning. The 1-1. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. One run scores. He's in at second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. At the plate, Luke Voigt. He ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. Rounded down the third baseline. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rafael Devers. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Slap hard the opposite way. Stanton has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Now Digging in, Kevin Pillar. No hits Kevin. to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. This is foul right side. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Back goes Stanton. Gone!
Into the box, Christian Vasquez. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Into the box, Michael Chavis. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And look out as that one ran in and got him. There's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He enters this at bat, one for two with a walk. Britain's ready, 1-1 one, one on its way. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. The 2-2. Two, two. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now the payoff pitch home. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. And that ends the inning. Ready now, Gary Sanchez. He's been scorching hot at the plate in this one. Four hits, including a big fly thus far. Inside corner called a strike one and two. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The center fielder. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Gary Sanchez is retired to kick off the inning. And he fouls this one off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Another 1-2 delivery. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. So striding in, Gio Urshela. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Now the one and one pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And it's gone as they add still another. To the plate now, Miguel Andujar. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. To third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And digging into bat next, it'll be Jose Peraza. The 3 2 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Judge is on the move. He's there and records the first down. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Now with the plate, J.D. Martinez. Fresh off a of bases clearing double his last time up. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribbon. 
That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it high and deep out to left center field. Gardner going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Coming to the plate now, Xander Bogarts. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Hit out towards second. LeMay Hughes got it, and he'll just step on second for the force, and that'll do it for this half inning. Josh Taylor enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Striding in, DJ LeMayhew working on a good line in this ball game, three for five thus far. The one-one home misses ball two. Popped him up. Devers has room in foul territory. One away. Now at the play, Aaron Judge he comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game. The 2-2. Hit out towards second. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now, back. now in the box, Torres. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. The 3-1. And he misses ball four. Giancarlo Stanton now. Man at first after the two-out walk. Giancarlo Stanton. The 1-1. One, one. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. Vino is on out of the bullpen now, now as he gets to work in his 60th Number game zero. of the season. Adam. All Adam. set for the bottom of the ninth and set to go as the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Hit sharply toward the right side. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. The batter. Now batting, Kevin Pillar. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 2-1 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Christian Vasquez will be next. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Gardner is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Standing in, the Christian Vasquez. He flew out in his last at bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw on to first, and the Yankees have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 22 to 9 in this one tonight. New York jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. James Paxton earns his 12th victory in the ballgame. 
Hector Velasquez permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. of the ball game four hours and one minute tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park 37